Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Code Karen. Welcome to r slash Am I the A-Hole, where we have four incredible stories. If you're new to this channel, a sub would be great. Let's jump to the stories. Our first story is, am I the a-hole for refusing to let my sister and her kids move into the house that I bought? I'm a 32-year-old woman and I just bought my first house. It has three bedrooms, a yard, and is just what I need right now. I'm single and have two dogs. My sister is 34, has three children, and lives in a two-bedroom apartment. Lately, she's been talking about how such a tiny living space is not enough for the four of them. When she got to know about the house I had bought, she became very upset and told me I was being wasteful as I'm single and don't have kids, and therefore don't need such a big space. I reminded her that what I do with my hard-earned money is none of her business. She went on to complain to our mother about how selfish I was being. Yesterday evening, I got a call from my mom telling me I should let my sister and her kids move into the house. My house! I told her that no one was going to live in the house that I paid for, but me, and that the extra living space would be great for my dogs to play in. My mom also got very upset with me and told me I was being unreasonable. She said my sister's kids are growing and need the space more than my dogs. I offered to help my sister out financially so she could rent a bigger place. My mom got my sister on the phone who shot down the idea, telling me I needed to let her and her kids live in my house. When I refused again, she very generously suggested a compromise. I could live in the house with her and her kids and would not have to find somewhere else to live. She said this as if she was doing me a favor. I told her she had lost her mind and hung up. Am I the a-hole or is she? I know my sister is struggling financially, but this kind of entitlement is ridiculous. Our second story is, Am I the a-hole for siding with my brother and sister-in-law because they don't care about my biological male heir, but my parents are furious at them? My brother and my sister-in-law have been married for six years. I love them both dearly. They adopted a little girl about a year ago. My parents were happy about this too, at first. They got really angry when my brother and sister-in-law announced recently that their daughter would be their only child and they do not want any biological kids. My mom and dad lost their stuff. They told my brother he had to get my sister-in-law pregnant. He was the family's male heir and he would have to have a biological son to carry forward the family name. This makes no sense to me, my brother, or my sister-in-law. It's not as if we're a family of European royalty. Who gives a flying fig about the family name in this day and age? Well, my parents do apparently. They've been berating my brother and guilt-tripping my sister-in-law, making her feel like she's taking something away from our family. On one occasion, they actually suggested that my brother leave my sister-in-law if she didn't want to get pregnant and have a son with another woman. What's even worse is that they've stopped paying attention to my niece. Earlier, they would call and talk to her almost every day. And ever since they were told about my brother and sister-in-law's decision, they've stopped calling her. This gets me so mad and has deeply saddened my brother and sister-in-law. Their child is three years old and doesn't deserve this kind of treatment. Yesterday, when I called my brother, he seemed very upset. He told me that mom and dad had called him and they had talked about something unrelated. When he asked if they wanted to talk to their granddaughter, they said they'd talk to their real grandchild when my brother came to his senses and decided to give them one. I was angrier than what I've been in a long time. I called my parents and unloaded on them. I told them how selfish and cruel they were being and how dare they take out their anger on my niece, along with a lot of other things I can't even remember. My mom started crying, as she's not used to being yelled at. I understand that yelling at them may have been a bit much, but I just can't believe how awful they are being towards a kid. So am I the a-hole? Or are my parents too demanding and do they risk losing any relationship with their kids and granddaughter? Our third story is, am I the a-hole for telling my sister to stop telling people that she has my illness to gain sympathy for being overweight? I, 22 female, have an older sister, 25 female. My sister is very sensitive about everything. When we were young, if I made the smallest comment like, I prefer pink over blue, it would make her cry because she thought I was attacking her by saying it. 
My parents would always ask me to apologize to her since she's sensitive and I'm emotionally stronger than her. My parents never controlled my sister's diet growing up, letting her have whatever she wanted since they found it too difficult to control her. I was skinny as a stick when I was a kid, so even though my family has a long history of thyroid disease, my parents didn't think there was an issue with me. However, my sister has been overweight the majority of her life, so my parents thought she'd be the one with the thyroid issues. They took us to an endocrinologist when I was 10. I got a diagnosis for Hashimoto's thyroiditis, but my sister didn't. Instead, she was told to exercise and watch her diet. I have hypothyroidism due to Hashimoto's and have been on medication ever since. My sister and I moved back in with our parents due to what's happening these days. I leave my medication in a cabinet near the kitchen since I know I won't take it unless I have to actually get out of bed to do so. Apparently, I left a box of my medication before I moved out of my parents' house when I was a teen and one of my sister's friends saw it while they were over and asked if it was hers. My sister told them that it was, and that's why she was overweight. The box has Euthrox written on it in big, bold letters, with a little picture of a thyroid gland next to it. So yeah, pretty obvious it was meant for a thyroid condition. She's held up this farce for almost four years. I only figured it out when I saw her take a box of it out of my bag one day. I confronted her on it, and she starts crying and telling me that she didn't want anyone to be mean to her because she's fat. She also says that it's not fair that the one with the normal weight gets the thyroid disease. I'm just staring at her, gobsmacked. She's complaining that she doesn't have an autoimmune condition? I tell her to knock it off and that she can't lie to get sympathy from people. My parents talk to me later and they say that I was too harsh calling her a liar and she probably needs a therapist or something and the classic, I should apologize since I'm more mature. They even tell me that they were hoping that she was the one with the thyroid issues as a child, so that they could justify her weight gain. I asked them, so you wanted your daughter to be sick, instead of admitting that it's your fault because you bought her McDonald's whenever she wanted it, and never made her exercise? Now they're mad at me too. I see there is no reasoning with my family. Our fourth story is... Am I the a-hole for telling my girlfriend she isn't welcome at my house anymore unless she seriously fixes her attitude toward my best friend? Disclaimer. No, I am not seeking relationship advice or validation on it. I'm seeking judgment on refusing to let her come to my house. I, 30 and male, live with my best buddy, Mark, 30. We decided two years ago we were sick of paying high rent costs and having crappy roommates, so we pooled our money together to put a deposit down on a house. It's a good arrangement as we both have our own separate spaces. It's cheaper paying a mortgage and we do everything jointly. We've also been best friends for 20 plus years and enjoy living together. It's also important to note that I am straight and Mark is gay, but this has never bothered me and it doesn't impact how I see him. Mark is single after a breakup right now and I've been seeing Hannah, was seeing her, for about a year. I told her right from the start about my living arrangements, so in case she ever came to my house, she knew Mark lived there too. It never seemed to be an issue until Mark and his boyfriend broke up and Hannah's attitude changed. She started making comments saying she was uncomfortable with him around me and then he was making eyes at me a lot. I told her she was being ridiculous, so did Mark, and we both laughed at the idea of being into each other. We're complete opposites and are more like brothers, and it weirds us both out that Hannah is making these comments. I have told Hannah multiple times to stop as this is Mark's house too, and I won't have him feeling crappy. Hannah just keeps ramping it up, and her comments are getting worse to the point she even said that Mark wanted to make a move on me. I finally snapped. I told her that being gay doesn't automatically mean he wants to sleep with me, and her attitude is disgusting. She said she was joking, and I said it didn't feel like a joke. I told her, if you seriously can't change your attitude and treat Mark like a person, then you're not welcome here anymore. You're 30. Act like it. Get out. Hannah has been calling me an a-hole for treating her like a child, and some of her friends have messaged me saying I am being too harsh. I'm asking for judgment, as I may be the a-hole for being too firm and not trying to talk to her about why she is speaking about Mark this way, instead of downright refusing to let her be near him. So confused. Hey, Code Karen community. How do you feel about this last story? Is this a simple misunderstanding? or much more than that? Comment below!